I've just killed you. Damn. What a bloody stupid move that Welcome was. Welcome back everyone to Let's Play XCOM Enemy Unknown. Right, what did we do last time? I think we just finished the mission. And, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. I Let's appreciate see. your efforts to support the research team, Commander. I've already put the new recruits to work in the lab. Right, one day for heavy lasers, that's, well, less than one day probably. That's excellent. The new engineers arrived this morning, Commander. We're always glad to have more help down here. Okay, we're building more stuff. Don't have enough money for an access lift, but that's okay. One satellite in 11 days. How many satellites do we have? Zero. Additional upgrade required. Panic is quite high. <clears throat> we need to get some more satellites as soon as possible because we only have two days left. So we'll need to sell some stuff to make some more. Darn. I think this will do nicely though. Quite a lot of money here. I do believe I need to uh, lower that amount. Um, hmm, should we do five? Let's do five. Why not? And now I don't have enough for heavy lasers, of course. <laughs> heavy lasers and laser cannon. Nice. Right, let's uh, finally start uh, working on campus armor. Don't we have alien contain- yes we do, so we need some live aliens, come on. Let's do that. I should make some, uh... Craft weapons, but... Ooh, there we go. Just as I thought. We would need some laser cannons here, we only have one interceptor, so... <coughs> Hopefully we can get it down. Come on. Let's get We're it done. Be lucky. Um, cheese man or I think. Or it's probably the five awesome gamers. He never got an interceptor there. Come on! Come on, one more shot! Nice. Jeez. Good work, the five awesome gamers. Right. So. Who are we sending? Lots of sergeants and left. Tenants. Right, we need some um, rookies here. We need to get some rookies. Squaddy Petford, right, you're coming as well. Support. Right, Gerklaus Gamer has been on many missions and he's had quite a success, so you're just staying out for now. Let's see, who would be bringing another? Rookie, perhaps? Could do that, really. Death Row. Yeah, we're gonna bring Death Row. <coughs> like that. So, we have a heavy sniper support support. We need an assault as well. Kirklaus Gamer. Huh, <laughs> nobody is a support. That's not very, uh... Hmm, nice. Should we take another rookie? It's a bit of a risk, but I think we can do it. Alright, laser... Oh! We need some laser rifles. Hold on. Who's got a laser rifle? Heavy, heavy support. You probably have it. There we go, because we can't afford to make any more. <laughs> and... Laser rifle it is. And a skull because your aim is not very good. Oh yeah, who is this? Let's uh, find out, shall we? This is... Muck... Um, Muckle. Welcome to XCOM, Muckle. Hopefully you'll survive. Right, frag grenade. Now we need a heavy laser for you and we need another laser rifle for you. Body bed for the hold on. Where, where are all my laser rifles? Huh? I don't get it. Don't we have more? We need one more laser rifle. 
And, um... One heavy laser. I know I don't have the money, but just checking. Laser rifle. Oh, we only have two. Interesting. So we need... Whoa. 500. Damn. Well, we can sell one of these. Uh, actually, hold on. Like that. Yeah, I definitely need to lower the amount for corpses. So, laser rifle and heavy laser. There. I think we'll be fine now. Hopefully. Alright, luckily you have a scope. You need a laser rifle. I like how they get these, you know, different shoulder pads. I don't know what this is supposed to be. Is it like energy cells? Possibly. Um, right, anything else? Uh, yes, you need a laser. Heavy laser. This is 46 damage and this is 69. Excellent. And you could use a medikit. You're quite accurate, but... <clears throat> scope, scope, arc for medikit? Wait, why don't you have a medikit? You should have a medikit. Because you now have the ability to, uh... To, uh... Heal three times. And that is really useful. Right, so somebody else... No, you need a scope. You're fairly accurate, man. Hmm. Arc thrower. Let's get you an arc thrower, why not? Hopefully you can uh, arc throw some enemies. Well, so we've got a squaddy, squaddy, and a rookie. And a lieutenant and sergeant. Well, just follow these guys. Uh, and you'll be fine, hopefully. Let's go. Pro Mercury, take us there. Where is this again? It's South America, right? Yeah. Alrighty. Prepare for deployment strike. This will possibly be Brazilian be authorities have requested our help. So that's where we're going next. This will be painful if we meet mutants. It looks like the aliens Let's hope we don't. <laughs> Let's hope I don't make the same mistake as in the previous LP where I sent a bunch of rookies on a VIP mission, which I thought was a VIP mission, but it wasn't. Come in, HQ. Big Sky has reached the outer marker. Approaching the crash site now. Strike team is awaiting your orders. Affirmative, Big oh. Sky. Strike one is free to engage hostile targets at the crash site. So we're right here already, at the edge of the map. I do prefer that, because instead of going for gunslingers, I'm going for damn good ground with my snipers this time, just to, you know, test out different perks and such. So, Mangelor Prime. Wow, you can really haul ass. Just don't aggro anything here. Whoa, already, jeez. And we've already moved our people, that's not good. And they can easily flank us now. That is definitely not good. Let's move you here, and hopefully you can see them so I, I, our snipers can take a few shots. Right, we need to reposition. Oh, you can't see them from here. And you've got a squad side, excellent. So, Chris, just take him out. No, that was an 80% to hit. Darn it. Hopefully they're not gonna get you. Out in the open. They're gonna buff? Oh, he's there. I thought he was here. <laughs> Where are you going, little man? Don't you dare fire at our sniper. Nope. Okay, good. Ow. Well, if, if only we could see the... Uh, the guy that's hiding. Let's see if we can find him. We might get flanked here, but... Oh yes, this will be much better. Let's get this nice kill. Excellent. Boom. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Well, this was unexpected, and unfortunately they've uh, gotten a hit on us. But, oh well. That's XCOM. Unpredictable. Brutal. So far, it hasn't been brutal, but, you know. 
I think it's about to change very soon. Very, very soon. Also, for some reason, I find that uh, we've gotten laser... Right, oh, it's right there already. We've gotten laser weapons kind of too soon, so I might want to change that in the mod. It was a little too soon for my liking, probably because of the abundance of money. So we're gonna do that. Uh, probably gonna make satellites much more expensive. Right, I think Lucky can stay here with his squad side. And now we're approaching from two sides. So let's send our rookie Petford here into full cover. Enemy there they are. More sectoids. I would like to get one because... It's kind of, although it's kind of pointless now. Because interrogating a live sectoid gives you bonus to beam weapon research, which is pointless now because we have them all. <laughs> right, where to take you? We can take you here, but they can flank you easily. Uh, you can see one, 42. Let's get you over here, see what you can... Uh, fire 62 and 62. Why not? Let's take it. <laughs> nice. Right, you're flanked, but that's okay. Just hopefully you're not gonna trip anything else. Because that would be quite painful. Oh, probably not. But let's take the shot. No. Now get him next. We might get killed in one go, though. So we gotta be really careful there. Oh, why didn't I put you up there? Fifty percent, Muckle. Show what you've got. No. Oh, missed the target. <laughs> no, missed the target. Ah, ninety percent. Chris Z, the lucky, will uh, do this. Nice. Hoorah. Only five damage, wow. Pet Ford. How about we get your kill here? If you can Nice. Excellent. Floaters. Right, so there's floaters around. Uh we'll move Pet Ford here. And let Chris get behind this full cover here. Back online. Death row, uh, you can dash over there. Hopefully you don't... okay. Oh yeah, this is a larger UFO, so you're not gonna aggro the crystal guy just yet. Let's move over here. Time to yeah, this sucker I thought they were gonna be here. Well, actually, I thought it's gonna be the crystal guy here, but... Oh. The alien flight computer could prove to be extremely useful in our own research. Please, take great care in returning it to the base in one piece. Right, so they didn't move. Well, he's still on cover. But they might kill you with one shot, and we really don't want to do that. So how about we get you... Huh, over here. Because I have a feeling they might be able to flank... No, I don't think they'll be able to flank you, not with their time units. So... How about you hunker down? now. Hopefully that was the right choice. What? Didn't I tell you to go over here? Oh crap. Apparently I didn't. Gotta be really careful where you click your uh, soldiers to move in this game because it's kind of buggy. Especially, well, not especially but only when you're, you know, when you have terrain like this where it's multi-level. What's he doing? Show oh no 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 no. Oh that was fortunate. Heavy fire in this zone. Come on, show me yeah, there we go. Oh another one. Oh. I'm right. Really fortunate there. Good thing I hunkered down. Prime. Oh, and you've got him flanked now. <laughs> well you could get this kill, but you might get killed in uh, in return. Muckle, how about we get you a kill? I don't think you'll be flanking him there, though. Yeah. Unfortunate. Ah, but you can get a kill on this one. Just don't destroy the flight computer, please. No! Oh. Negative damage. Thought he was gonna destroy the flight computer, but I don't think that happened. Right. Prime. 
You're in trouble there. Yeah, we can also see him at squad site. Let's use a pistol on Overwatch. It's not gonna do much, but people are saying the pistol is supposedly working uh, with squad site as well, which is probably bugged, but... Alright, can you take one out? 85, yes you can. Come on, Patford. Kill him. Nice work. Excellent. So, that means... Well, Death Row can't get there, but... Mantular Prime can kill this one. And not be killed. Nice. See you in hell. These laser rifles seem to be critting a lot for 9 damage. Alright. Let's see where that crystal goes. I'm ready. Probably just the crystal guy left. Because we shot down this UFO. You know, now I'm kinda... Kinda sad that I didn't do this on Impossible. Because there are a lot more aliens on Impossible. But, well, Ready to engage. I want to stun that... Uh, crystal guy now. You need to reload. Mantular Prime. He's probably gonna be in We're one of the locked rooms. I mean, not locked, but closed rooms. And so let's get you over there, Muckle. Unfortunately, we couldn't get you a promotion just yet. But, oh well. Nice. Yeah, it's just the crystal guy, so he's there. In that... Huh? He might be in this room, then. Huh. I thought he would be in... I don't know. Let's go find out, then. Full cover there. No? Huh. Oh, well, uh... We'll find out one way or another. Rock and roll. Just Let's stay here. I'm not gonna do much with the sniper rifle inside. This is a bit of a stupid move, but as I said, I don't think there's many aliens left, or actually, there's only the crystal guy left. So. Just don't trip him now, Manchler, because we'll be in real trouble. Oh, crap! Crap, that is exactly what I didn't want to do, because now he'll get turned. Oh, crap! Manchler, I've just killed you. Damn! What a bloody stupid move that was. What a bloody stupid move. Damn! <sighs> I hate losing supports. I really do. Well, that's a dash already. Can you shoot? Can you shoot at him from over here? Damn, I really feel bad now. Damn, damn, damn. Alright. Uh, I need another guy to soften him up. Can you actually shoot from at him from here? Yes, you can. Why was I so stupid? I should have known he was here. And this would trip him. Oh. Sorry, Mantra Prime, but... Yeah. That's how it is. Come on, stun him. Subduing target. No. Target is still moving. That's why I had the sniper on alert. Well, we could disable him. 70 only. Don't miss. Nice. Oh. This won't feel too good. We'll stun him next time. Oh, he's reloading. So... Yeah, that's also something I've added, by the way. Um, it appears that... You know, the aliens didn't actually have to reload their weapons in the original game, so... Oh, and of course we killed them. Mission accomplished. <laughs> Damn, Mantula Prime. Yeah, so I just made them have to reload, so... Uh, you know, even if Thin Men are firing at you all the time, they will have to reload at one point or another. Damn. <sighs> a 
lost a good support there. Mantular Prime. Scotch. He liked his scotch. Oh. Well, we got another support in the making then. James Bedford. Getting the sprint. Rookie Muckle became an assault. Excellent. So we did get promotions. I just didn't spot them apparently. UFO power source. Oh, we did get an intact UFO power source. 87 Illyrium. What is going on? I have reduced these numbers considerably. Damn. Well, that is a lot of money we're getting. Damage power source. Damage computers. And as you can see, the power source is a lot of money. But now I'm thinking I should really uh, lower that. Hmm. Well, something for the next let's play, eh? Actually, wait. Facilities. Access lift. And... Let's build some craft weapons. Phoenix is okay, but this is better. There we go. When selecting a specific jet within the hangar, you can choose to modify its current Oops. weapon loadout to best serve our needs. Why can't I edit the loadout? Because it's repairing. Well, that's a bit silly. And where's this one in Africa? Well, we're gonna do Africa. Um, so, oh, we can't get an interceptor there. Yet. Oh, well, let's wait for. Commander, our satellite is prepped and standing by for launch. We are ready to deploy it on your orders. Wait. Barracks. Officer training school. We can't do anything. How many do we have? Wow, a lot of people uh, leveled up. That's nice. Still got, still got a few rookies on reserve, so that's good. Right. Workshop. Additional workshop online. Satellite uplink complete. Oh, yeah. New engineers arrived this morning, Commander. We're always glad to have more help down here. I forgot to say. See this man here? That's Snake Pliskin. Do you remember him uh, from the last Let's Play? The sniper. Yep, that's him. He decided that he wanted more of a desk job now. He killed so many aliens, it wasn't, you know, being fun anymore. So now he's watching this thing turn. And he can report on it. Look. See? He's reporting. Yes, it's turning. Right. One day for access lift. How many for the council report? One. Okay. Oh, yeah. Of course, we need to launch satellites. Satellite uplink <laughs> facilities at maximum capacity. Nigeria, Additional only 30, but... Satellite launched. If we do all three, we'll get 30% more. Money. Satellite launched. And we need an interceptor there. Satellite launched. Yes, yes. Alright, so we're gonna do Mexico and Canada as well. Let's do Canada first. Satellite uplink facilities at maximum. Let's hope we don't uh, lose Mexico. Yeah, I should definitely make satellites more expensive or something. Two sector corpses, the CEO of a major Brazilian pharmaceutical. Okay. Dispatch. Right. That's a bit of money, so we can. Well, I'm not gonna order an interceptor because we're just gonna pay for it for this one day. Access lift operational. The new engineers arrived this morning, Commander. Let's uh, excavate everything. Commander, at this point, a foundry would certainly help us further hone the effectiveness of these new weapons and equipment. I'd recommend we get started on construction sooner rather than later. That's okay. That's what I'm building next, probably over here because. We're only gonna need one more uh, satellite uplink, I believe. Satellite Will we? Uplink facilities at maximum capacity. Three, Additional four. Required. Huh. Well, not really. We'll need two more. <laughs> or a nexus. We'll see. Anyway. Incoming transmission. There we go. We are extremely nice. impressed with the progress of the XCOM project thus far, Commander. Your recent results were beyond our expectations. And that is not a statement this council makes lightly. Thank you, the robots will eat you. You know why the robots will eat you, who is the councilman of course, uh, gave us an A grade? Not because we're so good, 
but because uh, our Italian cook, Korath, in the base made him some really nice stuff to eat. Of course, it was sent to an undisclosed location, but, uh, you know, yeah. We will be in touch, Commander. Right, so... Oh yeah, we're excavating here, can't do that, so we can uh, order another interceptor here. Yes. And... Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. We are researching doing this. Okay, I think that's fine then. Carapace armor, finally. Right, carapace armor. It sucks that it doesn't actually tell you what stuff does before you uh, build it. Kind of stupid. Right, let's do power source. Actually, alien navigation. I appreciate first. your efforts to support the research team, Commander. I've already put the new recruits to work in the lab. Now, unfortunately, you can't see the stats, but I've made Carapace armor much better than it was originally. So you know, it actually means something uh, now that you make it. Um, compared to skeleton armor, which was infinitely better before. Um, and, you know, you simply skipped Carapace. Uh, Carapace has now much more health, actually. Lacks, of course, the grapple uh, and the mobility, but it has much more health. And I do believe it has another slot for items. So let's make five. Should also make stuff more expensive, or the workshop bonus is lower, because it's just ridiculous how cheaper you can get items by making loads of workshops. Uh, anyway. There we go. Large scout. Well, we got a laser cannon interceptor here. And this is, uh, oh, so many people. This is Omut. Enemy is padlocked. No, this is Mackenzie Kaloon. Sorry, I'm just gonna have to rotate. Come on, get there. Nice. And down you go. Excellent. Large scout it is. I think I'm just gonna go with the same people for now. However, where's your... Uh... Alright, you need the scatter laser. And now we get the body armor. Let's see, this gave us one health bonus. I think this actually updates according to the mod. And this gives... Four? I don't think that's right. Let's see. This new yeah, body is. armor was developed using what we've learned from the alloys employed in the alien ship. It should prove to be both lighter and stronger than anything we've used in the past. That looks so awesome though. Yeah, okay, so it's for health. That's still good. Everybody gets this, of course. It's a shame you can't see mobility. Oh yeah, and now you've... Uh... Whoa. Jeez, that looks huge. Yeah, you've now uh, earned some uh, customization. You're uh, an assault. You're a support, Corporal. And I still haven't customized you. Interesting. Where's that nice white color I need? Well, that's some cool combinations, eh? Come on. That looks pretty cool, I think. Sniper. Getting the carapace armor as well. Death row. Jeez, that looks funky. <laughs> Actually, you're, uh... You need this. Whoa! That looks seriously awesome. And girl class gamer again. Wait, we need some uh, more rookies here. It is a large scout, though. Hmm. Wait, what do we have? Heavy sniper support, assault... Hmm. Should we get another heavy? Well, let's get Gur class Gamer. Uh, Carapace Armor, he's a really good soldier. And you'll get this, and... Medikit... Support. Ah, well, you can get the arc thrower. Who's got the arc thrower? You do. Because he doesn't have the... He has the sprinter ability, but he doesn't have 
the three uses of the um, medikit yet, so we can use you to sprint up and stun aliens. And you can have the scope. Alright, I think we're ready. Let's go. This is a large scout in Russia, I believe. Is it? Yeah. No, no. That's not Russia. <laughs> I thought it was uh, further up north. We're heading into China for the next operation. And it's night time again. It Which looks like the aliens went down in a sparsely populated area. If there are yes, we know. All right. Crow Mercury landing. And we'll see what happens next. Trees burning. Loud and clear, Big Sky. We'll monitor those readings from here. Strike One is authorized to assault the alien craft. Alright, and we'll uh, do this UFO next time. Thank you for watching. Um. There they are. Whoa! They were having a picnic. Three thin men, three floaters.